what's up guys Justin DiGiovanni here and in this video we are going to be flying this it's the DJI Mavic Mini uh, fly more combo uh, I cannot wait so I've been wanting a drone to get aerial photography and video since 2014 and I know exactly where to bring this let's go what's up guys oh yes 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 we are here at paint mines again and this is where we are going to fly the drone i cannot wait this is going to be amazing um it is a little bit past sunrise hence why you can see a little bit of the sun hitting the tops of these hoodoos um but uh yeah i am pretty pretty stumped about this so uh what we're gonna do we're gonna go up a little bit higher and um so we can get like an advantage point and we could actually like see the drone a lot better um at a higher elevation so without further ado let's go <laughs> Oh yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> so I'm definitely uh, recording this using the GoPro Max. So that way I can actually like expand on everything about. And also, so you guys get a better visual of the surroundings. But yeah, man, I wish I had this camera. Uh, the first time I ended up recording here, this is the first time that I actually have been here uh, with a fresh coat of snow. So that should be a, a nice visual. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be going up to that vantage point way up there. Yeah, yeah. So there's a bench up there. I could, you know, put my backpack on. Um, I just gotta figure out how to get up there. Yeah, so um, one of the things that we'll do, uh, we'll get up to this vantage point. Um, we'll fly around the drone, and then later on, we'll come back down in the valley and uh, photograph this area. All right, we're, we're almost there. But I mean, check out the view. The view is amazing. I mean, if you think this is good right now, just wait until we get that drone up. <laughs> the bench is right here. I kind of want to show you guys something. And then we'll, a nice little, like, cliff. Look at the colors and everything. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty here. So let's go ahead and set everything up and get this thing up in the air. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, that's right. This thing could fit in my backpack. That's how small it is. <laughs> I think that's one good thing that I like about it, of like how small it is. That small. <laughs> I ended up getting the uh, Flymore combo of the DJI Mavic Mini. So I get like two extra batteries, uh, more propellers, and a few other things. Because I knew that I was going to be flying this thing a lot. Alright, bring out the top section first. And the bottom. I, gotta be, I feel like I gotta be like so delicate with this thing. But that's all right. And then, last but not least, take off the front. Camera guard, gimbal guard. There we go. Let me finish setting this all up and uh, we'll get this thing up in there very, very soon. Let's go. So 
got everything plugged in and set up. Now we just need to uh, connect everything. Oh yeah. It's alive, it's alive. I'm actually using my backpack and then the drone case to kind of have a, a launch pad. That way there's no dust that's gonna be being kicked up or anything like that. And um, let's take it off. Whew, ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, let go. <laughs> Yeah, so it's going to be loud right now. So what I'll do, I'll switch over uh, to that camera and uh, for a little bit, let you uh, enjoy the view. Let's go. Okay, we are at the exact location where I revealed this spot to you guys. The sun is a little bit higher in the sky and it's showing more of the structure and the colors and everything like that. So this is where I'm going to set up shop for a little bit and see what I could come up with. There's a few uh, compositions um, that doesn't have any uh, touch snow, meaning like somebody walked through the snow. I have to be wary of where my shadow is, as you can see, yeah, see right here? So if I'm kind of shooting straight down here, I've got to watch where my shadow is because I definitely don't want that in the picture. So it's this composition. The other one is a little bit to my left. Um, here, I'll pan you guys around. Uh, so it's actually this composition down here. Now there's just like patches of snow along this little uh, edge right here. And that will make a really, really good foreground uh, leading up to uh, uh, the structures. This is actually pretty nice. Um, I have a little bit of foreground, which is definitely the snow. But there's patches of 
dirt. So I'm gonna see if I can get that in the foreground. If not, it's mostly gonna be like untouched snow, which is okay in my book. <laughs> I'm using an 8 to 16 millimeter and kind of fluctuating between the two to see what kind of results I'm getting. Um, my camera settings are going to be uh, the shutter is at 3 20th of a second, my aperture is at f9, and my ISO is at 100. So I'm actually going to be using the patches of dirt in the snow for like a little bit of a uh, uh, interest in the foreground and I think that's actually working really really well but I just gotta avoid my shadow that's the thing <laughs> one thing I do really like is this blue sky like it is a deep blue and it is gorgeous so it definitely helps with the composition and the contrast between these colors in the sky so let's go <laughs> Actually, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's working out really, really good. Well, this is going to be an interesting segment oh, man. it's like it's like wet clay oh shit and I'm kind of going downward oh, damn. come on here. oh yeah definitely worth it wow Let's see if I get a little bit lower That's, that's worth it. Wow. Yeah, it's a combination of the snow going down the cliff. Um, the leading line of the snow that looks like, um, like a stream of snow that helps your eyes leading to the uh, colorful structures. Man. Oh, it's so pretty. I gotta bring you guys back in here because this, this section is pretty pretty nice. We were actually flying over this earlier, but uh, might as well show you guys, you know? So let's go. This could be really cool in uh, 360. So I'll kind of fiddle with it. And uh, we'll see how it looks. Oh, I figured I'd come in here and show you guys this again. Because uh, this place is unbelievable. 
so many colors. Oh man. So we're gonna hike hike back down the way we came in. Oh, it's so freaking slippery. Oh, but like the colors around here, it comes off really easy. So it's, it's always, when you come in here, just be very careful. Uh, this place is fragile. So we try to preserve it, you know, for everyone else to see. But oh, 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 oh. this place is grand. <sighs> Look at the colors around here. Holy moly. <laughs> So I'm kind of tight moving around, but I wanted to get that B-roll, but definitely got it. Now I'm trying to squeeze back. Oh. Oh. Dang. Oh. Perfect. Made it. All right, let's grab the backpack and head out. Oh. Essentially, uh, this video is just merely wanting to come to this location and uh, test out the drone. I mean, what better way to test out that drone than here at Paint Mines? Um, I was able to get that thing about like 400 feet up in the air. I know the Colorado uh, limit is 400 feet, so I was definitely I was respecting the law. So I kept it at 400 feet, but took amazing, amazing video and photos, which I'll show you guys those here. Bye. This is the only location that I wanted to photograph and like show you guys. So the last time I came here, I didn't see the composition of this spot right here with the purples on either side and the yellow smack dab in the middle. Um, now it definitely helped with the foreground and everything, which that was a delight. So this composition is credited towards uh, my mother. Uh, we came here in October and she found this spot so all credit towards her on this composition so uh that's pretty much it um i'm gonna call it a day since the sun is a little bit higher i thought i was gonna get a uh, i thought i was gonna get more photos out from paint mines but i think i was just kind of merely testing the drone out at this location to get photographs and um video for you guys so you guys can actually see this place 400 feet above <laughs> um but yeah it's it's definitely definitely worth it all right so that's it for the time being i hope you enjoyed it and if you did you know to do hit that like button yes <laughs> And if you want to see more of the videos that I produce, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. Yes! <laughs> you guys are awesome. Stay awesome. And until then, I will see you all in the next video. See ya!